down to the other side. Yep. Good morning, everybody. We just arrived at Epcot, one of our favorite places to be. And the Food and Wine Festival is going on. So we'll be trying some food today. We'll just see how the day unfolds. Looking forward to it. Got to turn the camera off to go through security. And I'll get cranked back up here in just a second. Okay, back there behind the trees, blending in with the sky, is Cosmic Rewind. We'll be going over there to ride that in a little while. And then to the right from there, straight ahead is Mission Space, which there's a restaurant that we tried to get uh, reservations to that we weren't able to. So what is it called? 220? Space 220. Space 220. One of these days, maybe we'll snag a reservation for that. And then to the right of that is Test Track. That's gonna be our first attraction of the day. It's something that Jess loves and is scared of all at the same time. All right, sometime today, we'll be trying some of these food-based experiments. We are not gonna do that one. Yeah, it's horrible. Have you tried it? No, but I've seen people try it. It's, everybody thinks it's awful. Maybe trying the peanut butter yeah, jelly sticky wings. Yeah, that would be good. Peach berry hard cider. Wow, that's pretty good. All right, we just left the Odyssey. We are headed to the World Showcase. It's just such a great place to hang out, especially when it's not scorching hot. And here we are at Norway. Back there's where um, Anna and Elsa do a meet and greet. And then that's just some stroller parking. This is at Stave Church. Long, long ago, there was a greed that the powerful goddess Freya. Freya journeyed to the as magnificent as all things found her by all of the gays. All right, so this is um, a character at meet and greet dining place. So this is still in Norway. We're going to go inside and ride Frozen Ever After. I think it's what it's called. Yeah, Frozen Ever After. We have eaten at this restaurant right here. And I think it's, is this the Nine Dragons, Hannah? And it is so good. This is the booth for the Food and Wine Festival. Um, I missed the menu. Let's, let's go over here and look at the menu. Hannah likes pan fried dumplings, but I don't know if she's ever tried it. I know we haven't tried the other things. This is a cute little gift shop. We bought, Jessica a panda umbrella one time to help with the shade and I feel like I need one of these but I would probably break it maybe I need one of these I think it would be hot all right moving on around the world showcase we just left 
the China area. It looks like they're getting ready to build some new stuff out here. They've got a new show coming later this fall. So across here, we've got just, this is like a marketplace. So there's some goods in India. I will go up here and get um, a close look at the menu board. Chicken tikka masala, potato and pea samosa with coriander lime cream and curry spiced crispy cheese with mango curry ketchup. Okay, the Food and Wine Festival, celebrating Epicuriosity. And then it's, if you're in the mood for something cheesy or bold and flavorful, and then they, they have this map of where to go to find it. In here, there are some instruments. Kids come in here sometimes when you're walking by, you can hear the kids in here playing. Uh, they'll beat on the drums and all the stuff. Over here, you can get a hot dog and just some, um, let's see what else. Oh, I'm not, might even not say this right. Spicy Gathiri with white beans, pigeon peas, long grain and wild rice, and some slaw. They have beverages with the alcohol. Oh yeah, see, they do. They have an all beef hot dog. Oh, and you can get a Dole Whip here. Now, this is, um, Amani Village Traders. I don't know that I ever really see those open with people selling stuff. They probably do, but... I think during the art festival, oh, there's people they're there. selling art. So, now, here's some hats that I probably need. I should have worn my hat today. Oh, yeah. That's cute. It's very cute. I would smash it, probably. You would smash it? Yes. Like packing it and all that. Um, all right, let's see what else we got over here. There's some more. Um, these are carvings. They're pretty amazing. I'll show you some of them. I have no idea what you said. We are in the Alps, and these are the things they have here. Dark chocolate fondue, this warm raclette Swiss cheese with shaved ham. And Campbell tried this the other day. Mm -hmm. Was it good? I thought so. The cheese was extra good. The ham was just ham, uh, and it had a little bitty uh, um, pickles and some little small little like a little sweet gherkin kind of pickle yeah and some little mini potatoes brown potatoes okay over here in germany we have i don't even want to try to say it i'm gonna let hannah say it what is this chicken noodle <laughs> bratwurst on a pretzel roll and apple strudel with vanilla sauce i kind of want to try this but if I get both of them, they're just, it's just going to be so much. Decisions, decisions. You're not going to eat either of them with me? No. I'm going to get the apple strudel. Jessica. Yes. I'm going to get an apple strudel to try. Yes. Are you interested in trying it? No. Okay. All right, Hannah's going to get the apple strudel with vanilla sauce. Got that tingly feeling right there. It's delicious. So this long line here is for a meeting. Snow White. We're at Germany. We're gonna walk through the caramel shop and then we'll look at the little plaza and maybe go in the restaurant. We've never eaten there. Um, there's a little, like a little beer cart over here and some places to sit and eat. Let's go this way.
Okay, everybody, we made it past Germany and we are about to enter into Italy. So here's the Italy outpost. And I am planning on getting some food from here. Let's look and see what's on the menu. Uh, the freshly baked focaccia with meatballs, tomato sauce, and cheese. Cavatelli with sweet sausage, ragu, and crispy applewood smoked bacon. I don't think I want that. But I definitely want to try this lemon ricotta cheesecake with vanilla cream and strawberry compote. Probably not going to do that focaccia. The cheese looks like the kind that usually if I tried to eat it, I would be very regretful. I'm probably just going to get the cheesecake and... I'll study my little book booklet a little bit more about what else I'm going to have. Mm. For now, we're going to move on to America. Here's a sneak peek at Italy. Hey, everybody, fast forward sure how many hours probably seven I think when I last videoed for you guys it, we were around Italy and I was saying I would was gonna go find something else to eat we, no well we ate ice cream but no, no more festival food and so um, what happened was Jess is not having a good day and it kind of uh, affected our whole day and the choices we made and what we did and didn't do and so here we are Hannah and I snuck back to Epcot to have some of our favorite festival food tonight and um, hopefully catch the nighttime show. Hang out. Have a relaxing evening. We yeah. need one. It's yeah. been a stressful few days. Yeah. Hoping this will perk, perk me right up. I need yes. to be perked up. Okay, we're headed to Canada. My favorite. I'm gonna have the Canadian cheddar bacon soup and the Canadian filet mignon. And Hannah is gonna help me eat it. And then we're gonna go get something else. Cheddar bacon soup from Canada. I've been looking forward to this all year. Mmm, so good. Now, time for the filet. So I'm gonna get a, a bite with some of these um, mushrooms that have, mm, I'm slobbering. Mushrooms that have some melted butter on there. Here it goes. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. All right, here's beloved Canada under refurbishment. That's the word I'm looking for. All right, Hannah is going to try spiced chocolate tart with the barbecue potato chip crust, salted whiskey caramel, and smoked sea salt. Interesting. This is the one thing off the Food and Wine Festival menu that's really stuck in my mind as something that I definitely want to try. Okay, here I go. I hope, well, I hope this is good. Nice and thick. Wow, that is so interesting. It's like, I don't know how to say this other than like a dessert you would eat at Thanksgiving. It's like very spicy, but not like spicy hot. It's just like full of flavor. It's, I love it. It's great, it's cold. It's like a really, really thick mousse, like I guess. Fudge? Yes. It's good, I like it. Great. Yeah.